Why didn't gold continue higher on Monday even though it looked so? On Monday, everything seemed like a bullish day for gold. The aftermarket session extended up. The overnight DR session then confirmed longs, but had a lot of difficulties to continue higher as if something was holding it back. Then gold's price dropped enormous into the other direction and confirmed a DR fall session. Why was it hard for price to continue higher after the ODR long confirmation? The answer is crystal clear if you have studied the DR basics. It's because the day has started with the aftermarket session inside the previous day's RDR range or also called a DR range contraction model. Price gets squeezed into one direction before making an explosive move to the other direction. As I've explained in a lot of videos, the previous day's RDR session highs and lows are very sensitive areas in that model. Once price reaches the IDR levels of the previous day's regular DR, it will most likely have very strong reactions to it. And in Monday's gold price action, the overnight DR session was a beautiful example for that. Even though it confirmed long, it failed multiple times to break through. Look at the clean rejections from the previous day's RDR sessions IDR high. That's what makes the DR range contraction classic. And there goes price, explosive move into the other direction. Where exactly? To the opposite side of the previous day's regular DR session. Something I've mentioned multiple times in YouTube videos. The DR range contraction model played out beautifully. Like and subscribe for more.